Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about The X-Files season number 11, episode number 5, Ghoulie. This episode is directed by James Wong. And here we have two girls stabbing each other half to death because they think they're monsters. Some reason, they're seeing things that's not there. One girl sees a monster, so she attacks her because she thinks it's going to kill her. The other girl sees a monster, so she attacks, thinks, thinks the monster's going to kill her. And so they end up they're stabbing each other. So now you got Fox and, and Scully, or Mulder and Scully, trying to figure out who is behind this and how to stop it. And then you have some, some other agents behind who trying to find the person who did this. Turns out the person who, who caused this whole thing to happen in the first place is Scully's son. Now, I would say it's Mulder's son, too, but it turns out that Smoking Man's his father, too. So that's pretty much Mulder's brother, little brother. He doesn't know that yet. Kind of messed up. And, and then they also get involved, their boss, Skinner, but they can't trust him. Because he's in, because he's working with the, the smoking man, which sucks big time. And the smoking man wants um, wants um Mulder's, well, Scully's son because he wants to use him for his plans for for uh, world domination, I think, or taking over the world, killing people. I'm not so sure, but either way, I was going down this episode right here. Now I did enjoy this episode a whole lot. I had a whole lot of fun watching it, watching, it, uh, watch, figuring out who was behind the whole situation, what caused it, and all that stuff like that. Very interesting. Got, kept me kept me entertained and it kept me intrigued about the whole entire picture. Liked all that. But the problem I had with this episode was this. Okay then. Fox and Mulder find out that that, 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 that their son is that, 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 just, um, is um a Jackson V um um Vanderkamp. Find out it's Vanderkamp. Okay then. Uh, and, and then they also find out that he's the, is the um, behind the whole. Girls stabbing each other thing. But it seemed like no one seems to care about that part. Like, the, the two, he has two girlfriends. He's cheating on two girls. Okay, messed up. But the girls don't seem to mind it too much. I don't know. Okay. And then there, when he confesses to the girl that he uses his powers to get inside her head, make her see things, and that's why she stabbed the other girl trying to try to stab him. She, she was a little upset by it, but didn't seem to mind, that she didn't seem to mind that much. Which is like weird, and and Scully was so involved in finding her son that she didn't seem to care that he's the reason why they got the camera in the first place. The two girls almost died. Two girls almost died because your son used his mind powers to get inside their head, and make them see monsters. What? Now the thing I try to figure out is why did they have knives in the first place? Why would they come to an abandoned place with knives? Are they going to kill the monster? Or they... I mean, even though he did lure them there by using his mind powers, why do they, make... why do they have knives? I mean, I have a lot of questions. I mean, I did enjoy this episode. I found it very intriguing. But it seemed like there was no consequence to the fact that he almost killed two girls. What is happening here? Like, two girls almost died because their son uses alien mind powers to mess with their heads. What? And everybody's okay with this? We okay with this? That your son's almost like a murderer? No? No one? No one cares? No one, I mean, yeah, the government agents were involved with, who tried to kill him because they were experimenting on other people too. They tried to take him out to cover up, the, to cover up their bases. But still, I mean, I didn't want the, the, kid, to get the, the kid to die, but... Are they really the bad guys in this situation? I don't, I don't know. Because, yes, they were trying to kill um, Jackson, but he was, but he almost got two girls killed. So, using his powers. So, in a way, he is very dangerous. I'm so conflicted on this episode. Did I enjoy it? Yes. Was I intrigued by it? Oh, 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 oh right. But should Jackson still be alive? I, I don't know. I, I, maybe. I guess. Two girls almost died. It's in the, it's in the, through the show. Everybody forgot about that part. And it's, it's focused on Scully and Mulder finding their son. I mean, I want I wanted them to reunite, be together again, and maybe work together to try to stop the smoking man. But that that didn't quite happen. But still, two girls almost died. We can't forget that part. 
And he's the reason why it happened. Okay. But overall, like I said, I did enjoy this episode. It was weird. I, 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 I'm, a little conflicted. I'm a little conflicted on this. But leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of The X-Files. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. Well, so give this channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, mm, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.